CData Arc is a B2B integration platform with flexible tools to handle errors and alert system admins when something goes wrong. In this video, I'll cover three ways to ensure that you always have visibility and control when an error occurs in your B2B transactions. The first way is Arc's retry and resend capabilities, which help ensure that frivolous or temporary issues don't get surfaced as serious errors. In a data transmission connector like an AS2 connector, you can configure the retry and resend settings here. An ARC retry is triggered when ARC attempts to transmit a message, like an AS2 message in this case, and either gets no response or a negative response indicating the message was not received. ARC will swallow this error temporarily as it retries the same transmission over a period of attempts as configured here. Only after the maximum attempts at retrying have been exhausted will ARC actually throw an error. The idea here is that temporary issues, like network outages or perhaps a partner's AS2 endpoint briefly shut down for a reboot, don't end up as errors so long as a successful transmission is possible within a short period of time. An ARC resend is similar, but goes one step further. Protocols like AS2 have a concept of receipts, where your partner will send you a receipt to demonstrate that they received your message. If ARC is using a protocol like this and doesn't receive a receipt for a transmission when it expects one, it will trigger the resend function. Like a retry, ARC will swallow the error and attempt the transmission again until it has exhausted the maximum attempts at a resend without getting a receipt. Together, retry and resend help ensure that your system admins don't waste time addressing errors that would go away by themselves. The next way is ARC's global alert settings. By hitting the cogwheel in the top right and then selecting the alerts tab, you can find the alert settings for ARC. Here you can tell ARC to email someone, likely the system admin, when an error occurs in ARC. You can also choose to email a periodic status report rather than sending an email for each error. Then, you fill in a few simple email settings, like the address of the system admin, the SMTP server to use, and the subject of the email. The body of the email will automatically contain the error information logged by ARC. Note that these alerts are used across the entire application, so these email settings will include any errors from any connectors in ARC. To get more granular, you can use the third way, customized error path handling in ARC workflows. By default, ARC connectors display a blue flow arrow, indicating how data passes from connector to connector. If you right-click a connector and select Show Error Path, a red flow arrow endpoint also appears. We can now use this red arrow, just like we would normally use a blue flow arrow, but data will only pass along this red flow path when this connector generates an error when processing a message. So, a simple way of recreating the global alerts from the previous section with a specific ARC flow is by using this red flow arrow to connect to an email send connector and effectively provide email alerts for one particular connector or flow. But of course, you can do much more than just email a system admin with these red flow arrows. If problematic files need to be processed a particular way, like analyzed for issues or being returned to the sender, then you can simply build out a new ARC workflow downstream of this red flow arrow to provide whatever custom processing you need when an error occurs. So together, the retry and resend, the global alerts, and the show error path help ensure that you can mitigate errors and process the errors that do occur according to your organization's needs. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can find more resources at arc.cdata.com.